What's up guys, Dinebot here, and welcome to your Sanitarium.fm news update for the 2nd of May 2017. Got a decent amount to cover today, so let's get started. Hearthstone just hit 70 million players, and to celebrate, they're giving everybody three free packs from the Journey to Ungoro expansion. All you have to do to claim yours is log in. Doesn't matter if you bought any other Ungoro cards or not, you'll get three free packs. Doesn't seem all that useful if you didn't buy Angora, but they're probably hoping you'll pony up some cash to fill out the set. At any rate, it's a nice gesture, so thanks, Blizz, and uh, maybe I'll finally get some quest cards because I didn't get any from the other 58 packs I opened. Next up, guys, Darksiders 3 has been leaked thanks to Amazon. They seem to make a habit of this, but anyways, it is a hack and slash adventure game, and they gave us some screenshots. You play as Fury, a mage who uses her whip and magic to restore the balance between good and evil on Earth. Now, in case you're wondering why it's Fury, well, in the Darksiders game, the four horsemen are Death, Strife, Fury, and War, and we've already played as War and Death. Now, it is being made by Gunfire Games, a studio founded by the original Darksider developer, Vigil Games. You remember they went under after THQ went under. So yeah, should be interesting. You have to defeat the seven deadly sins and their servants in a post-apocalyptic environment. I've always loved the art of the Darksider series, and Darksiders 2 combat was a lot of fun. Let's just hope they can work out some of the other problems that those games had. And finally today, guys, Ashes of Creation has launched their Kickstarter. I covered this one a little while back, a little while back when they were talking about it, and it's a uh, interesting MMO that has no factions. Instead, players colonize nodes in the world, and everything you do in that node goes towards helping civilization expand in that area. So they're saying that everybody's experience with the game will be different. Cities will rise and fall. Fates will be determined through force of will and power. Blah blah blah. Game things. It, it looks interesting. It's an interesting concept. Uh, let's see how it actually does on Kickstarter, though. They are asking for $750,000. they have already raised $876,000 US dollars, so they're pretty much into stretch goal territory. MMOs take a long time to develop. I'm still waiting on Crowfall to be finished. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how this one works out. It's certainly interesting. Anyways, guys, that is everything for me today, but if you want more news, more music, more videos, and yes, more awesome, head on over to www.sanitarium.fm. Oh, and uh, hit that Patreon button at the end of the video. It'll help us out a lot.